Hello everyone, welcome back to another achievement hunting video where today we are going for a relatively easy one. It's called Shahansha, and all you gotta do is form Persia. But there's a catch, you gotta do it as Ardabil, which is a one province miner stuck between the Caucasian nations and the Karakayunlu, the Akkayunlu, Ajam, it's all, there's, there's a lot going on in this region and being stuck as a one province miner is pretty difficult, but we did manage to get it on our about the fourth or fifth try because really the difficulty is just getting the ball rolling. Once you have a stable start, once those first five, 10 years really get off the ground, it's pretty standard play afterwards. So I hope you enjoy this playthrough and I'll see you again at the end of the video. Alrighty, first thing we want to do, buy the free company. Next thing we want to do, look at the estates, summon the diet, pray to God we get something that lets us go to war with Shirvan first. And what do we get? Uh, Astra, uh, we're already going to do that, so we might as well just do that now. Seize land, do all of the uh, estates, and then after this, uh, you know, truthfully... You don't even need to get the indebted to the merchant guilds because they're four ducat loans. You don't need them. Also, uh, don't forget to focus. Don't forget to focus this because you're a one four two start and you need you need it. So let's rival Shirvan and Biapas. We're going to first ally Mushasha because they are important to us. They do have that southern start below Ajam and Karakiunlu, both of our enemies here. And then uh, generally, thank you. Generally, we like to see uh, an alliance with Georgia as well. Sometimes they get big, sometimes they don't, sometimes they're useless. But as long as they can help you out in like one or two wars, then it's going to be fine. Uh, let's also take away relationship improvements, do that. And then December 12th. Go to war with Biapas. They have no allies. We're going to call in Gilan because if I don't, they get super upset. And what I'm going to do here is... Uh, we're going to take this and then after we take it in the war deal, we're going to sell it to Gilan. Because Gilan really appreciates it when they are sold this province. And they will break the alliance with you if you don't give it to them. And it's so fucking annoying, but... just You just gotta do it like that. Uh, while we're here too, let's try to keep improving with Georgia. Being the Shia religion really sucks. Because... The Sunnis around you don't like you. So we have to kind of get lucky with who we can, uh, who we can ally. Uh, 535, five, that's pretty good. I like that a lot. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to get rid of this, uh, horse too, to save us some money. Let's give our ruler mill command and then, uh, get him a few more of these. No. Alright, so this is what we have to do. Oh wait, we have to get our uh, guy back. So this is what we have to do. You take Biapas. You sell Rasht to Gilan because they're going to be really mad at you. So you have to sell this to them if you want to keep them as an ally. If you don't, then they're going to ally Katakayunlu and kick your fucking ass. So... Uh, where is Sell Province? We're going to sell Rasht to them for, uh, 50 ducats. And we're going to make a little bit of extra money off of that, which is always nice. After this, uh, we want to, that was the fastest we've ever sieged that down, by the way. We want to see if we can get this alliance. We can! That was also really fast, getting that alliance with Mushasha. And then, uh, let's see if we can't improve with Georgia. We already have a reconquest against Ajam. They're allied to the Akkayunlu and Shirvan. So what we want to do is, uh, let's spy on Shirvan. 
Georgia is going to love to come into a war against Shirvan. We're going to use that as an excuse to also go to war with Ajam, take as much from, at, from them as we can. And from there, because we didn't co-belligerate them, we're not going to be able to take a lot, but we will be able to take a couple of provinces, some money, and, you know, you don't want to co-belligerate them because they have the Ak Kuyunlu as an ally. So it's a lot of, you know, balancing things on a knife's edge. There's an alliance for Georgia. You'll love to see it. We got our allies really quickly. And now let us try to ally the Ak Kuyunlu as well, because if we can go to war with the Kara Kuyunlu early, that'll give us a really good foothold. They are allied to a Mazandaran, who we do want their provinces because they are. Uh, we do need Amol to form Persia. So it's going to be a little while now, but let's see what we can do. All right, the Ak Koyunlu alliance is kind of far away. And we can declare this war. Georgia and Mushasha would join in. It's a little close though. Gilan wouldn't for eight years. We get Ghazi Kamuk. Maybe. So we either wait for Gilan or we get Akka Yunlu on our side and just say fuck it. We only have 7k troops though. How are they so big but they're so weak? Georgian conquest against Imareti. Nice. That's a good one. Trebizond is in on it too. We get the stack wipe? Thank you. Alrighty. Akkayunlu does not want to be our ally. Unlucky. Gazi Kumuk also doesn't want to be our ally. Even though they really should be. You can divide Shirvan into three equal parts. There it is. Trebizond an ally. Let's spy on the Karakayunlu and get some claims. Maybe we can ask Gilan to... Can't ask them to do shit. Um, Timurids would probably not want to be friends with us. Too many diplomatic relations as well, so... We might just have to say, fuck it, we ball in a war against Shirvan and Ajam. Well, guys, you can move. Maybe if, uh, you know, you wanted to be allies. Oh, now you want to be allies, now that you're fucking dying over there, huh? There we go. Ak Kuyunlu as an ally means this might be a little bit better for us. They don't have to join this war. Oh. Coruscant declared their independence war. They all did. Ottomans are in on it? Oof, okay. Nah. Ajam is gonna take no losses here, but they are occupied with this war. Ak Kuyunlu still wouldn't join because they're in debt, but their manpower and war exhaustion is going up and down, respectively. Regency. Does that mean we can't declare this war? Oh my god, it's a Regency Council for seven years. Okay. That's fine, actually. Getting ready for war and fucking... 
My guy just straight up dies. Uh, well, if he's going to be independent, we'll start improving with Transoxiana and Fars. All right, let's enact our first gov reform. Uh, let's strengthen noble privileges so we can get more manpower for now because we are going to need it. We got Transoxiana as an ally, or the Timurids rather. Oh, they integrated. Ajam integrated their guy as well. Everyone except for Mushasha would join us too. Oh. Ajam has guaranteed our independence. Well, that's gonna suck when I go to war with them. Or Moose be a friend? No, they would not. Would a no guy be a friend? Yeah, they would. Get everyone in on this war. That would bring an Akka Yunlu on their side and Hormuz. Oh my god, what are these generals? They're actually useless. Timurs, do you even have people? Sure. No guy you want to be allies. April, May, June, July. Diplomatic relations plus one that helps out right now. But the Akkoyunlu wouldn't come in now because they are besieged. Mushasha is still in debt. No guy just straight up wouldn't join. So let's dissolve that alliance as well. Completely useless, both of them. Akkoyunlu wouldn't join their defensive war either. If we can knock out Shirvan quickly. Or Moose. They have to go through Mushasha. If 9k troops, you know what? It might be doable. Mushasha has 10k. Let's declare war directly on Ajam. And we bum rush Shirvan first. Current heir will die. Oh no, I'll pray for him. Damn it, he lived. Alright, during this war, we're gonna get Miltech 5 too, so that's gonna be really nice for us. We do this and keep them alive. We knock them out super quick, because if we want a full annex, they won't want that. Let's just take all their money. They're now out of the war. And now. It's just a Jom Hormuz. Lots of forts that we can defend here. We don't even need to knock out Hormuz right away. Uh, Mushasha getting sieged down. We might just have to let them go. And get sieged down. Here's Miltech 5 while we're at it. Here comes a big battle. Nice. Hormuz is now sieging down. The Mamluks are here. What? Are, who are they at war with? Najd and Hormuz? Ooh, that's actually pretty good for us. 
first national idea. I want to go something like military for quality, but the guide says religious would be best because we have to do a lot of converting after we do a lot of conquering. So truthfully, I want to do religious, but I don't want to spend all these mana points that I'm also going to be spending on that. So I'm going to do quality first. And then I'll probably do religious idea second, because we get the second idea group quickly, you know? The walls are broken. We're not advancing it though, so we need to bring these troops up this way. Georgia better be going that direction too. Nice. Let's go take uh, their capital. All right, Mushasha got knocked out. That's fine. After this, I want to snake down to the Timurid lands so I can start sieging them down after this too. That'd be really good for us. Alright, I really need to take their capital before they retake that base. Nice, we took it. That's gonna be a close one. Ah, we lost. We do have almost full occupation though. Or moves. Uh, they would not take a white piece. I don't want them to take this back right now. We can take this piece deal. And a little bit of money. Cool. We are now very big. And from here, let's start spying on the Timurids. Because they have no friends. Dawasir and the Karakayunlu. Okay. Let's get rid of the free company here. Let's pay back a couple of loans. Let's uh, summon the diet. Base production, base manpower, war exhaustion less than one. Yeah, we could do that. Uh. What will that get us? National unrest and manpower recovery speed? We don't really need recovery speed, but that's fine. Sell and seize. Let's pay back some more loans. Get some more rivals in Ajam. Uh, Georgia and Gilan are my allies, so why would I want to do that? Let's reduce the war exhaustion, core everything up, and that is a good first war. We are still allied to the Akkoyunlu. Who is holding a comfortable border with the Ottomans, so in a little while... Okay, now we can rival the Timurids and Khorasan, I guess. Because Gilan and Manzandaran, I could vassalize them if they would have it. Once we get more development. But the most important thing we have right now is a border with the Timurids. If we wanted to go to war with them, I don't know who Dawasir is, but it would be a war against the Karakayunlu. Karakayunlu wants an alliance? No? I want your land, dude. I need to breeze. But they like us. I don't know how to feel about this. Karakayunlu likes us. Do I want that alliance? I don't think I do. I need one province from the Timurids up here. Mashad and well, Yazd. And Fars. I don't need anything from Khorasan or Transoxiana. It is just... The Timurids. So if I snake up through here, share the border with Khorasan. Khorasan really don't like me. Their only ally is Fars. Huh. And they don't have any troops. Let's 
quickly build a spy network over here and get some land from Coruscant. They are getting eaten up by Transoxiana though, so who knows how much will be left. Are you at war with Sistan and Fars? Oh, so they just they're just passing through. Fars wouldn't join. Right, let's do this. Alright. So we'll take these two provinces. We'll share a border with tra <coughs> Transoxiana. Transoxiana is out hostile towards us. They're allied with the Ottomans, Mamluks, and Baluchistan. They're definitely someone I don't want to be on their bad side. And it's because they want Sab Zavar. So I can sell that to you. Let me make a little bit of money at least. There. And now they don't hate me anymore. Or at least they shouldn't hate me anymore. Hey, now they're friends. Hey, hey, we can get an alliance with them. That's so based. I could declare the war and then call in Transoxiana later. Oh, they have a truce. Oh, that's fine. How long is your truce with them, Transoxiana? Um, September 1471. Hmm. Georgia announced us as a rival. I don't like that. I was going to use them in a war. I mean, I'll happily go to war with them. I know they don't have any friends over here. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? Muscovy is their friend! <laughs> Georgia is allied to Muscovy. Afghanistan likes us. Yeah. Afghanistan is too distant. Let's declare this war and see what happens. There we go. First quality idea taken as the war starts. And uh, thankfully this couldn't be going better, except for those rebels, but someone's going to take care of them. Timurids take that. Because of course they do. Alright, what do I need from to form Persia? Yazd? I do need Kerman. But I need pretty much everything else over here. Let's see. Owns one of the following. So I don't need Kerman. I need Tabriz, Kerman, or Mashad. So I can leave Kerman there. Afghanistan can keep Kerman. Nice. Nice, lose some war exhaustion. Let's start occupying Tabriz while you guys reclaim the capital. I'm gonna hold off on this technology for a little bit. Big battles going on. Timurid army is still all the way over there. Siege of Aradabal is over. Let's take back Shirvan. I don't even have like strike forces because everyone else is taking care of it. Everyone else is winning and losing battles right now and it's perfectly fine. Truce with Georgia expired. I would like to uh, take some stuff from Georgia, but they're allied to the fucking Muscovites. Uh, third government reform. Let's do something like... um. Let's see. Centralized bureaucracy? No. 
Yeah, centralized. Eh. Let's do decentralized. I don't know if any of those are good anyway. Oh, I have a lot of points right now. Wait a minute. All right, let's... Uh, do we have the Renaissance anywhere? Taking a lot of loans, but I want to be sure to take everything I can. So first things first, money, war reps. Then I need to breeze. And uh, we can take one more province after that. We don't take the war reps. We can take two provinces. Ganja. I wouldn't want Ganja. Probably want this one. Then after that, we can take everything we need from... From the Timurids. If I could. Yeah, yeah. I really would if I could. There it is. Big war being finished. Let's actually see... Are you streaming? No. I'm recording. Also, I love the kids we work with. Because they bring us stuff all the time. The little girl came with a little baggie of treats and she goes, Hi teachers, y'all pick one, you pick one. I bought them for you. And mom look, you know, she's, we're like, oh my God, no, thank you. <laughs> and mom looks and she's like, we were at Dollar Tree and they were like, but I need to get something for the teachers. They're so nice. Like, oh. <laughs> and this is what I, I forgot to make them break alliances. But that's fine because they have they should have yeah zero manpower. And with all this money and with all of this uh boom. Pay back all of our loans with all the money we just made and we are sitting really pretty. Let's see. One of the, they're gonna be cored up. I just need to take a little bit more from uh, a jam. Let's get rid of these mercenary companies. Bring you guys home. We broke our alliance with Afghanistan and Transoxiana, why? You know, it's fine. I didn't need to keep them. They're really mad because we have territories that they want. And then... If I wanted to go to war with you, it would just be Mushasha, who is also my ally. And then if I wanted to go to war with you... You don't have any other allies. So let me dissolve these alliances right now. Lots of new provinces and we need to start converting. Let's sell and seize. We have a lot of money now. Let's build a few more buildings and we are starting to pop off, honestly. This was, it was a very, very difficult start, but after getting a good start, this should not be difficult anymore. All right, what else do I need over here? Amol or Shiraz. Okay, so I just need to take Amol from up here. But then I still need a bunch from Ajam anyway, so... They're allied to the Akkayunlu as well. And to Baluchistan. I really need some sort of allies, dude. I made a lot of enemies. I really need the Ottomans to be my friends. How can I do that? Who are their enemies? I can't scornfully insult people. I 
truce expired. Oh, and they're fighting someone right now. Let's go. Oh, uh, we have a royal marriage, but I think we need to take the hit. Oops. And taking this fucking mountain fort is the worst thing in the history of this stupid ass video game. Oh, I have two. I didn't even notice. All right, let's uh, while we're doing this, we can declare another war on these assholes down here. Ooh, the Ottomans have completely surrounded the Akkayunlu. That's scary. Karakayunlu is just a sliver of what it once was. Right, they have no allies. Alright, let's get the full annex. Coalition might form, but not enough people in it. And there we go. Very nice. Now, obnoxiously, there are a million fucking forts. They're all mountain forts, though, so they, I feel like they'd be worth it to keep, but... Nah, they're just too much money, so let's tear them down. See, people that are already pissed at us will stay pissed at us. And after those two really small wars, um, we really just need one more war against Ajam and we'll have everything we need to form Persia. And I mean, we could do that before 1500 if we actually got some stronger allies too, but uh, like who out there wants to ally us. Uh, Imareti, I guess, but like, uh, Hasa, no guy is tiny though. Never heard of this country before. Crimea is not that far away, actually. Oh, but 85 improved relations. I mean, I guess I could ally Imareti just to have an alliance. Hasa too. Anka no. Kuyunlu is coming to aid in the Ottoman conquest of Marash. Defensive war. Hell no. That's another person that won't go to, uh... It's just another person that won't go to help uh, Ajam. So that's really nice. Now it's just... Ooh, the Mamluks wouldn't join. Why? They're in a thousand in debt. Okay. This may be the time to strike. None of my allies would join. Baluchistan is kind of big, though. Hormuz and Baluchistan are kind of big. But if I can buy some more troops, maybe. Let's get some loans. And make a massive mistake. Let's get the independent army. And while we have these loans, let's uh, let's build some buildings. Mushasha reconquest against Basra. Yeah, sure. That's a decent general. And now I feel like I might be able to do this by myself. Oh, now Baluchistan wouldn't join. This is dope. This is really dope. Let's see, can we get the Renaissance already? Please. One more button click. Thank you. 
We finally got their capital, and now it should be smooth sailing. Ooh, I can bring in another ally in Hasa. Don't mind if I do rubs hands together. Kataka Yun Lutrus is also up right now. Send in the Grand Company first. Looked like we were about to win with just the Grand Company anyway, jeez. Alright, this is going to be a very nice war for us. Uh, what do we need to finish this off is the question. Just those three provinces. Hamadan, Qom, and Ifshan. So we don't even need that much from these guys. But I'm going to take a lot from these guys. You know I am. And I also want to take Koi from these guys. You know, while we're here, may as well. You have no friends. I will vassalize you. And then I will refeed you back a lot of your cores. I can just go straight for their capital. Not even their capital. Their one fort. Alright, we have Koi. Now this is going to be funny. We are going to uh, vassalize them. Take a little bit of money. And then we're going to go kill that army. Oh wow, that was just a straight stack wipe. Let me see Hormuz. They would not accept the white piece. So yeah, you keep going. Alright, now they would fold. I'll take 50 money, I guess. Go siege... Yeah, they got the provinces they wanted. That's good. Siege of Harat is finally over. And uh, there we go. And this should be the last of it. As soon as we retake this. And... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Feed back some cores to you. There would be a big coalition, so... Let's do a little bit less and a lot of money. And there we go. Let's... Reduce war exhaustion, core everything up, use that money to pay back some of our loans. And we are green on green with, uh, you know, our boys, the Afghanistan over here. But this is very nice. Yeah, sure, Mushasha, you're a, you're a good ally, Mushasha. Afghanistan it wants to restore the Timurid legacy. Jeez. And once everything is cored up, we have formed Persia. We still haven't embraced the Renaissance too. It would take 600 gold. That's a lot. Uh, let's do... Yeah, that. So we can sell. Seize. And then after that, we can do... Actually, we can do some burger loans too. So let's embrace the renaissance. Finally. We spent a little too much money on extra bullshit. Uh, you want a marketplace. So let's get you a marketplace. You're not devved up enough to have a marketplace. So now we need to dev you until you can. You jerk. Wait. Next building slot unlocked at 30 development. All right, whatever. I'll tear down the castle. Oh. Why, why can't I build a building here? Hello? 
whatever. I didn't want the castle there anyway. It's way too out in the middle of nowhere. The very least, the Ottomans don't want our provinces just yet. Why is Ragusa so big? Who let that happen? Where? Huh? Where's Florence? Why is the Papal State up another hundred development? Hello? Who let this happen? Why is France at war with the Papal State? Austria-Hungary? Oh, jeez. Is it for the Burgundian succession? No. Weird stuff going on out there. There they are. Core provinces. We form the nation of Persia. Yes, please. Enact a government reform. Tier 1. We can get the Persian government, the feudal theocracy, the Ikta. Let's see. What does Persian government get us? Development costs, missionary plus 1, missionary strength, tolerance of the true faith, idea cost, manpower in accepted culture provinces plus 15. Yeah, sure. Then we can... Uh, oh, we're about to get tier 4 soon, too. Mission fulfilled. Now we have the... Uh, Persian mission tree, which is very tiny. Consolidate Iran, which I'd have to go to war with uh, Afghanistan. <laughs> we can do that in the next video, but uh, let's see. There it is. Shahanshah. Start as Ardabil and form Persia, which honestly it was not that much harder than it sounds. The real rough part of it was the start, and once we actually got a really clean start where we got the first war, we were able to go to war with uh, Ajam early on and Shirvan, so we basically uh, got this border with the Caucasus, got some land from Ajam, and then of course when the Timurids collapsed, we were able to take everything we needed from the Timurids, and from there it was just being big enough to get that last war against Ajam. So, so that is this achievement. If you guys want to see a part two, uh, there is a part two where as Persia, you conquer Anatolia, Greece, and Egypt with the, uh, for the achievement, this is Persia because you need to, uh, need to reverse it on those guys but yeah if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments down below i might play it out anyway just to see if i can if the ottomans be my friends then i might just make pretty borders with them maybe we'll keep georgia alive because they are friends with uh, future russia and i'll expand eastwards who knows but uh if you do want to see me attempt that with this current run where the ottomans look like they are doing amazing and that would be very difficult for us to do and it would probably have to be slow rolls all the way back up but uh you know we do have Karakayunlu with a lot of reconquest cores on the ottomans and georgia and ajam so again just let me know if that is something you want to see thank you very much for watching this video we will see you in the next one